a lot of noise and a lot of excitement in the room, and that's for a very good reason. Uh, my name's Peter Harriot, CEO of the City of Greater Shipman. Uh, welcome everybody here today um, to uh, announce the, uh, or for this special event, which is the announcement of the uh, winner of the architectural design competition for the new Shepparton Art Museum. Uh, last week we had a very exciting time with our launch of a Commonwealth uh, Games uh, bid. Uh, and that was an example of uh, how great things can happen here in Shepparton. Well, this is just another example of how great things can happen here in Shepparton, uh, the new Shepparton Art Museum, and it's about to happen. Quite exciting. Now, I'll just read some acknowledgements and then some apologies, and I'll hand over to the Mayor to do the uh, uh, official welcome. Um, acknowledgements uh, in attendance today, Jacqueline Symes, Member for Northern Victoria, the Honourable Damien Drum, Federal Member for Murray, Mayor Councillor Dini Adem, Councillor Seema Abdullah, Councillor Dennis Patterson, Councillor Shelley Sutton, uh, Mr James Flintoff, CEO of Regional Development Victoria, uh, Mr Peter Quinn, Chair of the SAM Foundation, and also uh, one of the inaugural directors of the SAM Limited. I'd like to acknowledge the apologies of the Honourable Jala Pulford, State Member for Regional Development, uh, Bridget McKenzie, Senator for Victoria, Honourable Fiona Nash, Senator for New South Wales, Honourable Mitch Fifield, Federal Minister for Arts, the Honourable Martin Foley, State Minister for Creative Industry, Wendy Lovell, Member for Northern Victoria, Susanna Sheed, our Member for Shepparton, and Deputy Mayor Kim O'Keefe, Councillors uh, Giovanetti, Orozvari, Hazelman and Summer. Um, oh, uh, importantly before I uh, bring the uh, Mayor to the lectern, uh, and uh, significant in uh, the indigenous <coughs> connection with Sam uh, is that we have uh, a welcome to country uh, from Artie Merle. So please welcome Artie Merle. It's great to see everybody here. What a wonderful occasion, very auspicious. Okay, I'll start off with Firstly, I'd like to pay my respects to my elders, past and present, and acknowledge my elders, by, oh, sorry, but past and present, and yours as well. I would also like to pay my respects and acknowledge my elders, if there are any, here. Now I'll do the last. Gupa Gaka Nganya. Nuri Yarmo Mamadam. Waka Yini Yinpana. Mama Bangara Bame Ina Nyalan Waka. Ganya Nyakaramja. Wuta Norad Na. Ganyan Yakarunja Wuta Wamanya. Yapenyapo Yawanda Dana. The Ganya Angaram Daya. Inga Norad Wuta Ganyadi Emalan. And what it said, please welcome, friends. You walk upon the land of my people, the Yuli Uta. Take pleasure in all our land. Respect all you see, respect all people. Together we stand. It's great to be here, and I hope you enjoy today's proceedings. Thank you. Thanks, Mel. And uh, as I indicated, not just a welcome country here today, but um, uh, not even the start, because we've been working with the Aboriginal community uh, on this project for some time. It is the continuation of a great uh, relationship and. Um, uh, partnership um, as we go forward. Now, could uh, I please welcome, uh, or would you please welcome Mayor Councillor Vinnie Adam to say a few words. Thank you, Peter. I'll be saying more than a few words. <laughs> I'll be announcing the actual winner. Peter. Yes. Before we begin, we, the Greater Shepherd and City Council, acknowledge the traditional owners of the land which now comprises Greater Shepherd. We pay respect to their tribal elders. We celebrate their continuing culture and we acknowledge the memory of their ancestors. And thank you for that welcome to Mel. I'm extremely pleased to be standing here today. And that's quite genuine. I, I say that at the beginning of my speeches, but today I'm extremely pleased to be here. I can assure you of that. On Tuesday the 18th of April, which is today, which is a day that I think we're marking history moving forward, 
I think I referred to this day or a few months ago when we had a, a, one of the proceedings in respect to Sam that time will be marked moving forward in Shepparton as AS and BS, after Sam and before Sam. <laughs> so I think this day does actually uh, indicate that's the way we'll be looking at time from this point forward. Um, this was a momentous milestone for Council when Council endorsed a recommendation for an expert jury to select an architect to design the new Shepparton Sam. The culmination of several years of planning and discussions and sheer hard work by both staff and councillors and the community as well. Back in 2010, the idea for a new art museum was touted. Space in the current SAM is extremely limited and doesn't, does not enable us to actually exhibit the wealth of actual artefacts and artwork that we have to exhibit. The location of SAM tucked in between the council offices and East Bank lacks visibility and holistic experience many people are looking for when they visit an art museum. With, uh, we realised that something was definitely missing. We knew Sam could be so much more and do so much more for our community as well. Discussions and planning commenced for something that would be a significant project for Greater Shepparton and one that would put us on the map culturally. And that's what this is, project is designed to do. I personally measure the wealth and the uh, wellness of the community by its cultural standing. And I think we are culturally mature as a as a regional city, and this will certainly endorse that. In May 2015, Council endorsed the recommendations of a feasibility study and the business case for a new SAM. This turning point for the project meant consultation and planning could commence in earnest, which it did. A public feedback process showed that 76% of people who responded supported the business case for a new arts museum. This was a clear indication that the community wanted a new SAM for Greater Shepparton and the whole region. In July 2016, Council launched a two-stage design competition calling for expressions of interest from architects to design a new SAM. Endorsed by the Australian Institute of Architects, the competition would seek out the best in Australian architectural practice with ideas and a vision for what would be needed to build an outstanding building in an outstanding location at the Victoria Parkway. Council received 88 submissions to expressions of interest indicating the level of interest in designing such a unique building an opportunity that was obviously keenly sought by architects from across Australia and internationally, I add. A skills-based expert jury, which I wasn't part of, had also been established and sought through the 88 submissions and narrowed them down to five final designs in a rather exhaustive and strictly regulated process. I must stress that. The five final designs were chosen. The public exhibition held and community feedback sought in the final five selected designs. And that also fed into the final decision. The community comment was incredibly constructive. We received 1,400 responses with only 20 negative comments. In addition, more than 1,000 people visited the actual exhibition. The jury was extremely impressed with the level of detail provided in the community's responses and took the feedback back into account when making their decision. In mid-February, each of the five selected architectural firms presented their ideas to the jury and answered questions about their concepts. Using the assessment criteria, the jury scored the designs with 50% of the score based on design and 50% on capability and experience. Each design was considered carefully and at length. So at this point I must sincerely thank the five architectural firms for the high calibre of their concept designs. It is uh, not often the opportunity to design an art museum comes along and every one of those five firms delivered exciting, creative concepts. So I must stress that. So I could wave on for a bit longer but I'm sure we're all waiting for the announcement. But I will rate on a slide here. <laughs> <laughs> to ask a group of high profile and outstanding practitioners from the arts and architecture to give up, give up their valuable time to adjudicate on such a significant development for Greater Shepparton is truly appreciated. So I want to stress that as well. So thank you again for, for your time. Now, time has come to announce the actual uh, winner of the architectural competition. And bearing in mind that this building will be an iconic building for Greater Shepparton moving forward. This is what general Victorians and the wider Australian community will, will think of and visualise when they think of Greater Shepparton. So without any further ado, and uh, may I say that the announcement and the name isn't being organised by the, uh, the uh, people who organise the Oscars, Peter, who are they? <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we haven't engaged them at all. <laughs> now, I'd like to announce with great 
great sincere and great pleasure at Denton Court Marshall. standard I'm sure that this decision wasn't easily made so congratulations to them and uh, we look forward to the uh, exciting stages as this project grows legs and moves on forward so thank you for that and uh, back to Peter. Very good. Thanks Denny. Um, yes congratulations to Denton Corker Marshall and we will have representatives uh, speak uh, shortly. Uh, with such a big turnout uh, you're always going to miss someone in acknowledgements and uh, I'm probably making a mistake by adding to it because I'm going to leave people out again. But uh, I do recognise uh, members of the uh, Committee for Greater Shepparton, Sam and Rob, I think, are here. Uh, Dave McKenzie from the uh, Regional Partnership, the Goulburn uh, Regional Partnership. And, of course, we've got some uh, great supporters of this actual project in uh, Carrillo uh, at the back and Anne uh, sitting here, and I'm sure there's others uh, that uh, I'm going to miss. But... Um, Pardon me if I have missed anyone, but we do appreciate everybody that's here uh, today. Now, a project like this doesn't happen, of course, unless you've got some cold, cold hard cash in your pocket. And uh, we do heavily rely on state and federal government for these projects to uh, happen. So could I firstly uh, call upon uh, Jacqueline Symes, the member for Northern Victoria, to say a few words. Please welcome Jacqueline. Thank you so much, Peter, and it's good to know that $10 million get to a speaking gig here in uh, <laughs> yeah. um, I too would like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners and paying my respects to their elders, both past, present and emerging, and thank Annie Mel for um, your warm welcome. Thank you very much. Um, thank you so much, Peter, for doing all the acknowledgements. I won't repeat them, but uh, it's great to see a big crowd here today, so welcome to um, everyone. Um, it's a great pleasure to be here. I'm representing the Minister for Regional Development, Jala Pulford. The SAM is home to a unique collection of ceramics, indigenous and multicultural collections, which attract more than 30,000 visitors each year. But as we've heard, and as you all will be very, very, very aware, the museum is constrained due to its size and location. So it, was, um, it wasn't a hard decision to, of the state Labor government to um, support the Shepparton Art Museum to grow with $10 million. It's an investment from our regional jobs and infrastructure fund. When we talk in Parliament and in press releases about growing our regions in Victoria, this is the type of thing exactly what we mean. Just as infrastructure and investment is critical to ensure thriving regional towns, so too is culture, experiences and the coming together of the community to celebrate all that is great about it. For some, that greatness, greatness may be on the sporting field scattered across town, but for, for, for others, creativity is their source of expression and achievement. Shepparton has a very proud history of supporting and encouraging community participation and pride through art and cultural expression. But a modern purpose-built museum and exhibition space takes this to the next level and expands that all-important visitor economy. I'm thrilled to hear the winning design from Denton, Corker, Corker and Marshall. Such an architecturally designed new building will cement Shepparton as a cultural destination. Today really makes this, marks the start of the reality of this project. I know Rebecca has, is up at night planning her exhibitions for the new space. The project will create local jobs, increase visitation, attract business investment and boost consumer spending in the region's retail, hospitality and accommodation sectors. Over the construction phase, the project will inject 34.5 million in the local economy and create 72 jobs. Once operational, the museum will increase visitor spending in the region by almost $7 million per annum and provide another 23 direct jobs by year 10. Once complete, it's forecast that the new, new museum will attract 90,000 in three years' time and up to 100,000 at the five-year mark. Importantly, this project will improve the region's cultural vibrancy, livability, community engagement, social cohesion and cultural connectedness within the Indigenous and multicultural communities. This will have a further positive impact on the annual visitor spend in the region, and it's likely to encourage other private investors to set up shop here. I appreciate this project does not come easily. There's been a lot of hard work. Um, people have been very committed to this project and the benefits that it will bring to the community. And I want to acknowledge their energy, time and effort. Uh, 
the SAM staff, Friends of SAM, SAM Foundation, SAM Advisory Committee, committee Build a New SAM Project Board. I think we need a Samantha in here at some stage. but uh, And all of the local government, the businesses and community groups who push for this project. Big projects, they're not easy, but you should be very proud of what you've achieved. Um, I love art galleries and art museums. I'm from Vanilla and very proud of the one we've got here. And I just, I promised my daughter who's six today when I said I was coming along to, to announce, um, or to be part of an announcement um, of the uh, art gallery in Shepparton. She, she made me bring her art um, to show. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I, I did promise I would do that. Today's a birthday. So, so um, um, art has a special place um, in my heart um, and in my home. Um, so I'm sure this is going to be a great outcome for Shepard and um, you should be very proud of your achievement and I really look forward to watching it develop and I'm um, really looking forward to going downstairs and having a closer look at um, the design that you're all about to realise. So thanks for having me today. Thanks Jacqueline. We'll um, see if we can get that art word hung in the gallery at some stage. Uh, but we really do appreciate the $10 million from the uh, state government. We also appreciate the $10 million that has come from the federal government, so would you please welcome Damien Jones to say a few words. Well, thank you, Peter, and uh, thank you, Jacqueline, for uh, your, um, your contribution to It's just amazing what happens when governments decide to work together. Um, to Dinny and uh, to uh, Seema, uh, Dennis, uh, Shelley are here, and many other councillors that have uh, turned up later. Uh, thank you for the work that you're doing in leading the city. Um, David McKenzie down there, chairing up the partnerships, uh, which is, uh, again, helping the state government get its priorities right, which is fantastic. And to Sam, with the committee four, and uh, we've just got an, a, a very, very fine level of uh, civic leaders uh, that are looking from the committee for the partnership, to the council, and uh, it's a, they're all a pleasure to work with, I can assure you. Uh, Dinny thinks we're going to be talking about AS and BS. Well, I'm not quite sure in my, in my political radar what BS stands for. <laughs> but I, I think um, I'm, happy for it to, uh, I'm happy for it to stand for before Sam, as opposed to the other. Um, also to Peter Quinn, who not only is a great mate of mine, but also I've been able to admire from afar the work that Peter has done in driving the community. Uh, along the same line as driving council and driving state and federal governments, but for Peter to head up the community um, arm of SAM and, and this new project is an amazing accomplishment and uh, I know those that have been behind this project over a period of time might think it's taken a period of time. I'm telling you it's taken no time at all to arrive from this concept uh, with full community support. And that's not quite true by the way. I've got a range of redneck brothers <laughs> they reckon that we're wasting this bloody money. Uh, uh, and, hey, let's be fair, let's be, let's be honest. There's a range out there in the community that aren't into art. But I tell you what, life is pretty bloody boring if you don't have art in your life. And um, I've been able to witness firsthand what uh, a significant art gallery can achieve for a regional city, having lived for 14 years in Bendigo. And these figures that were quoted about uh, 100,000 people in five to 10 years' time um, significant, significant exhibitions, whether they be art related or whether they be fashion related, can bring 100,000 people to a regional city in three months. So what this will do as a driver for regional development uh, is just as significant as any decentralisation program. It's as, uh, it's as important when people sit around that kitchen table and they think about what's go what are the options available for us what are the real drivers that are keeping us living in the city and what are the prohibitors that are stopping us from taking that, taking that decision to move into the regions? And they talk about education. They want to make sure that wherever they've been had a job offer, that there's going to be good education. They want to make sure that health is going to be up and about. They want to make sure that the connectivity via road, rail, telecommunications, they go, uh, but they
Let me do various projects. It's interesting which projects actually um, create that niche in their memory. And this one here is, is um, she's always asking, how's it coming along? How's the design process going? And just on that, like, like Jacqueline, I'd like to acknowledge the uh, success of Denton Corker Marshall, but I also want to really acknowledge the other four the other four applicants because they've invested so much time and effort and energy into their designs as well. And either of them could have been a, could have been a successful um, design. Uh, and I just want to thank them for allowing Shepherd and to pick the very, very best. Well, we consider to be the very, very best. Obviously, from four other companies, we've made an enormous mistake. But um, hopefully, we'll get over that and we'll build we'll build this other one instead. But uh, listen, it's an enormous day for the city. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to say a few words and uh, let's all look eagerly on, eagerly on as this project uh, grows out of the ground and we'll all look on with great pride when it gets finished. Thank you. Thanks, Damien. And again, uh, thank you very much for the Federal Government's uh, $10 million. Yes, it is uh, art. There is art in this project. But it's about community, uh, it's about culture, it's about inspiration. Uh, and what we see in the building, I believe, is an inspirational uh, building. Uh, it's a, um, a statement building. Um, and uh, we're just so excited that uh, Denton Corker, Marshall uh, are here to deliver. So my next duty is to uh, ask you to welcome John Denton and Adrian Fitzgerald to say some words. Oh, well, we're very excited. It's a fantastic project uh, that we got very passionate about in designing it. We came and we looked at the site and we thought this really is an ideal site it's in the park on the lake on the main road into Shepparton. We couldn't get a better uh, site for the gallery. We discovered there's a terrific collection that Rebecca runs. Um, and we see the potential in our design and moving forward to for. Um, Sam to have a, an effect like a minor in Hobart, perhaps. It really can transform Adrian's in Tasmania. But just like the fact, it was an exemplary competition in the way it was organised and run by um, Greater Shepherd and Council. So thank you on that regard to the judging panel for their great foresight, of course. <laughs> We'd like to thank them. Um, and look, we can't wait to get going and with Rebecca and roll up our sleeves and get into it. Uh, yeah, I'd just really just like to add how exciting it is to be to do projects like this with a with a lively community where they're really putting their heart and soul into it, something that they, they believe is good for the city and we do too. And so I, I think it is thanks to the council and to the people of Shepparton because I think hopefully we'll give you something that uh, you're really pleased with and, 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 and love. Thanks. Thanks, John. Uh, thanks, Adrian. Uh, yes, you, you spoke about process, and uh, this is um, sometimes uh, a project that floats in the clouds, and uh, it's quite exciting, but a lot of the time you've got to get down dirty and uh, deal with the nuts and bolts in the process. We've had uh, auditors, uh, property auditors, crawling all over this, and uh, the feedback that I'm getting from everybody, whether it's the project control committee or those auditors, that this has been done to the highest standard. And uh, if we keep that up, uh, this will be a very good project. Uh, my final duty is to uh, thank a range of uh, people. Um, Jacqueline's already touched on those people, but I'll, I'll just mention uh, the range of, well, everybody in the room. Thank you to everybody in the room. But, uh, council staff, the SAM project board, supporting teams uh, for all the hard work and uh, effort you've put in. To the SAM Foundation, yes, Pete, uh, you and your crew are doing fantastic work uh, to uh, collate the uh, $12.5 million uh, coming from uh, philanthropic uh, private sources. Uh, you know, that's, that says something about this project. Uh, it makes it quite unique for that level of support. 
there's significant local support uh, as part of that, but there's a whole whack of uh, external support, people from outside the area that just see this is a fantastic regional project to get involved in and how lucky are we that we have those people uh, involved. Um, I can't at the moment go without uh, thanking uh, Rebecca Coates uh, for her detailed input uh, into this uh, project.